What is going on with Las Vegas and new construction? That's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I want to talk about what's going on with new construction sales here in the Las Vegas Valley. One word I have to say, and that it is OMG crazy. I mean, it is absolutely nutso. I recently just did a video why you need your own real estate agent when buying new construction. Look for that up above. And I also did a couple of videos on buying new construction in Summerlin. I have been helping a lot of clients lately looking for a home to buy in the new construction avenue. And with the limited inventory that we have right now, that's what a lot of people are gravitating towards. But here's the problem. And it's a major problem is that one, Every time there is a new release for lots, the builder increases the price. Two, they're only releasing two or three lots per release. Not enough to sustain the amount of people buying in Las Vegas. And three, some of these builders are creating bidding wars on the lot premiums. What? <laughs> and I'm not here to discourage you from buying new home construction. The point of this video is just to go over what to expect when you are buying new home construction here in the Las Vegas Valley. I'm not too familiar with Henderson, but I'm sure it's the same there as well. Okay, really? Actually, I lied. I do have one sale in Henderson. It's called Highline by TriPoint Homes. And I have three sales in Henderson Emerson by Lennar. Um, so I do have some experience with Henderson new home construction, but for the most part, I'm going over what I've noticed in general of buying new construction here in the Las Vegas Valley. Okay. And it's, it's crazy. Now I do want to mention that I mentioned in the beginning of this video is I did a video on why you need your own real estate agent when buying new construction. If you are buying out of state, you need someone to be your ally here. You need someone that's going to find out what the community is about, what the lot premiums are to stay on top of new releases with the builders agents. Um, you need someone that's going to just be your go-to while you're looking to buy in any of the communities here in the Valley. I have about 10 new home sale contracts right now, and I'm working on a couple of more and probably by the end of the year, I may have 20. Who knows? The rate the inventory is going, that may be the case. The reason it's crazy is that since the builders are limiting the amount of lots being released per month, there's an influx. There's tons of people that want to buy those lots that are coming available. And what's happening is now you're getting put on interest lists. You're getting put on a process where you have to actually bid what would be your highest and best price on the lot premium when you're buying new construction. Now, some communities are better than others, but from what I'm seeing, especially in the Summerlin area, it is a rat race out there. It's, it's, I mean, how, I don't know how many times I can say crazy. It is crazy. I was just speaking to one agent the other day and they will not be releasing lots until April. And so what today is February 22nd. So if they're not releasing lots until April, can you imagine how many people are going to be waiting for those lots when they do release it? And how many lots are they really going to be releasing? Two, three, three, four, five, who knows? The agents don't know. No one knows until it gets released. So here's the conundrum. That is a conundrum and within itself. And the reason the builders don't want to release until April is because all these builders are big corporations 
and the first quarter is about to end. So they already got their quota for the first quarter. So now they want to drum up sales for second quarter. Plus, during this whole time in March, even if they don't have lot releases, they're going to keep on increasing the price. I mean, it's so crazy. Speaking of which, um, there's a Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes. When I went to go tour the homes back in December, they were priced in the mid 400s. Now they're in the low 500s. By the time you watch this video, who knows where the pricing is going to be. So, you know, the builders can do this right now. And then on top of the cost of lumber going up, that's causing the increase in prices as well. I don't know where to begin or what to say about it. It's been a real struggle for a lot of my clients. And I'm not doing this to discourage you from buying new home construction. I'm doing this to let you know what's going on. And that if you are considering buying new construction, you need an experienced real estate agent that has been through it and knows what to do in these situations. I have clients that are interested in quite a few communities and we're on hold. Everybody is on hold right now. And I know this wouldn't be the case if we had more resale inventory in the Valley, but since we don't, then this is what the situation is for the new home constructions. Um, again, when you buy new home construction, and I'll say this time and time again, on your very first visit, if you don't have your real estate agent accompany you, then you can forget about it. Then I cannot represent you at all throughout the entire process. And you're going to need me. Honestly, you are going to need me. Plus, as I've said it before, I am free. Okay? You need me or whoever you choose. But you need an agent on your very first visit. Now, if you come into town and you don't want to bother your agent, but you're dying to look at the new builds, then register yourself under a fake name. Sorry, I hate saying that, but once you put your real name, phone number, and email address, you can forget about it. It's all over. Sorry. Gotta be honest here. Seriously. Now, some builders are offering incentives when you use their in-house lender. Some of them will offer three to five thousand towards the closing costs. Some will offer two to three percent towards the closing costs. But I think soon that will be going away because they don't need to offer you guys incentives. They don't need it. OK, they just don't need to offer you guys incentives. But I do know which lenders are. Let me know in the comments who you were thinking about buying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and another thing about buying new construction and the agents. Now, sometimes you will work with phenomenal builders agents. And when that happens, man, it is such a smooth ride. But when you're stuck with a dud, let me tell you, it's not fun. And that's why you have me to stay on top of that builders agent because some of them are not experienced and some of them are just, um, the tools are not in, how was that saying go? The, the elevator's not floating to the top or um, <laughs> they're not having the right tools, but whatever it may be is, the key is also having a great builder's agent there working with you and your agent. And I can name quite a few that I have established awesome rapports with that are just phenomenal agents that will bend over backwards for me and for my clients. Anyways, I just wanted to go over what was going on with the new home construction here in the Las Vegas Valley. And right now it's crazy, but so are the resale homes. Things are flying off the shelf. One other good advice I have is if you're looking for a lot that has views, and that has a bigger lot, then good luck. So is everyone else, okay? <laughs> it is crazy. And I also mentioned in one of my videos, it's important to get in on a new construction when it's just released, because what's happening is, as you know, they keep on increasing the prices. Either even when they don't even have new releases, they may increase the price once a week. So it's better to get in when the construction site is brand new, and that if there is lots available before those prices keep on going up. And the key is why is because now you're building equity. But when you buy in the beginning phases, realize that you may not get the best views. 
and are views important? Yes, they're important, but everyone and their brother wants views and it's gonna be hard to find. Plus, when you get a home with views, those lot premiums are huge, sometimes over 200,000. Pulte, some of their lot premiums in Starling starts at 100, 150, and 260, depending on where the lot is located and how big that lot is. Wow, okay, wow, 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 wow. Some other builders though, not in Summerlin, have a lot more manageable lot premium. And I had one of my clients talk about how they have never heard of lot premiums before, and yeah, it's a thing here in the Valley. Lot premiums are a thing. And the lot premiums can be financed into the sale of your home. I just wanted to tell you as experienced new home sales associate, what is going on in the Las Vegas Valley when it comes to buying new construction. But again, if you're thinking about buying new home construction, give me a call, 702-370-5112. I know about almost every single new home construction here in the Valley. And if I don't, I have resources to find out, right? As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, smash that subscribe button. If you want to learn more about Las Vegas neighborhoods, Las Vegas in general and real estate, of course, thank you so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one.